Today's video is sponsored by ButcherBox. More on them later on in the video. I'm sharing four elegant fall dinners in today's What's For Dinner video. Hello everyone, Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. So I didn't cook the whole summer because I was totally burnt out, but now I am back. I'm back, I am refreshed, and I have some amazing dinners for you in today's video. Today we're making seared scallops with parsley caper butter, sun-dried tomato chicken pasta, miso glazed salmon, and skillet beef pot pie with filet mignon. So let's get started. All of the protein I'm using in today's video is from ButcherBox, which I'll share with you in just a moment. But for now, let's jump into the first recipe, which is seared scallops with parsley caper butter. Seared scallops are one of my favorite, easy to make elegant dishes. But the secret to this recipe really lies in the compound butter, which we're going to make first. So you can make a big batch of this, put it in the freezer and use it on everything from seafood to chicken to steak. To make the compound butter, take eight ounces of a really high quality butter. My favorite is the Kerrygold Irish butter. Make sure the butter is room temperature. And then you're going to add chopped parsley, capers, lemon zest, salt and pepper, and massage it all in. I like to get my hands in there and massage it. Roll your compound butter into a log and set it aside. By the way, I will leave all of the recipes in my corresponding blog post. Now, before I do the scallops, I'm steaming some asparagus and broccoli. The asparagus is for this meal, the broccoli is going to be for a meal tomorrow. So I like to combine tasks like that when I can to make cooking time easier uh, the following day. Now we're going to sear our scallops. So make sure your scallops are fully thawed and pat them dry with paper towels to extract all of the excess water. Season the scallops with salt and pepper and then I'm placing some oil in my saute pan. This pan is by 360 cookware and I'll link it down below. You're gonna sear the scallops two to three minutes on each side and squeeze lemon juice over the top. And that is it. I mean, scallops are so easy to make. I'm serving this with mashed sweet potatoes and the steamed asparagus. Place a small pat of the compound butter on the scallops and the asparagus and let it melt and just enjoy this delicious gourmet meal. For dessert tonight, my daughter made chocolate mug cakes, so we enjoyed those fresh with whipped cream and raspberries. It was a complete delight. Before we get to the next recipe, I'm going to break away quickly to tell you about ButcherBox, who kindly sponsored today's video. ButcherBox is a subscription service that delivers the most high quality meat to your home each month, and they have a special deal for the Daily Connoisseur audience, free ground beef for life, for the duration of your subscription with them. So new members will receive ground beef in every box for the lifetime of their membership. ButcherBox offer 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, humanely raised pork, and wild-caught seafood at unbeatable value. They have five different boxes to choose from. They have four curated box options, as well as a custom box that you can do yourself. This is what I chose for our custom box. One order of ribeye steak, one order of filet mignon, one order of boneless skinless chicken breasts, an order of chicken wings, sockeye salmon, the scallops that you just saw, and of course we got some free ground beef uh, because that's the promo for the Daily Connoisseur audience. All of the protein that I'm using in today's recipes are from the butcher box and I can attest that they are so high quality and I still have so much meat left over for more meals. So you choose your box and your frequency and ButcherBox ships your order, frozen at the peak of freshness and packed in an eco-friendly 100% recyclable box. And don't forget to click on my link below for free ground beef for life. Thank you so much to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. Okay, next is the sun-dried tomato chicken pasta. So this is a really quick and easy dish to make, especially if you prep a few of your ingredients beforehand. So I already made the broccoli yesterday, the day before I filmed this, and I'm also prepping the chicken the night before. So I'm going to bake two of those ButcherBox organic chicken breasts in the oven, along with some olive oil, salt, and pepper until it's baked fully. And so I did that the night before, and so assembling this is going to be very easy. While the pasta boils, I'm melting a pat of butter in my pan and I'm adding chopped onion until that browns. Meanwhile, I chop the cooked chicken breast and I gather some thyme from the garden. Then I add some minced garlic and thyme to the onions and I continue cooking that. I then add half a cup of wine, some chicken stock, and a cornstarch slurry to the sauce to thicken it up. Season it all with salt and pepper 
And once the sauce thickens, I add the cooked chicken, sun-dried tomatoes, steamed broccoli, and one cup of Asiago cheese. I stir it for a few minutes until it's all melded beautifully, and then I incorporate this sauce into the pasta. I'm using fusilli pasta here, but you could always use penne as well. Top this off with some extra salt and pepper if needed and some more Asiago cheese and enjoy. This is a delicious alternative to marinara, which I had served all summer. <laughs> I don't believe I've ever shared my miso salmon recipe with you, but this is so delicious and it's really easy to make. I love the umami flavor you get from the miso. So I'm going to marinate the salmon overnight here. So again, I'm preparing the salmon the night before. So combine your miso paste with sugar, rice wine vinegar, and soy sauce. You're going to whisk this well and pour over your salmon. Marinate the salmon for at least a few hours or if you can overnight. When you're ready, place the salmon on a greased baking sheet and roast it in the oven at 400 degrees for around 20 minutes. Now only half of us were here for this meal, so that's why I only made three fillets of salmon, but you could easily double this and uh, make more. I'm serving it here with some rice and mixed vegetables, and I like topping the salmon with sesame seeds. It's so delicious, and the kids really love this salmon dish too. And now the piece de resistance, the skillet beef pot pie with filet mignon. So I ordered the filet mignon in the butcher box and you get two of those. Of course, that's not going to feed a family of six, but this is a great way to use the beef to feed the whole family. And I made it stretch and it, this is a delicious recipe. This is adapted from the 30 minute meals cookbook from America's Test Kitchen, which I'll leave linked down below. You're going to season your steaks with salt and pepper. Heat some oil in your skillet over medium high heat and brown the steaks on both sides, leaving the centers somewhat rare. I did this for about two to three minutes per side, depending on the thickness of the steak. Then you're going to transfer your steak to a plate and when they cool down, chop it up into smaller cubes that you can put back into the pie later. Now you're going to add a bit more oil to the pan and saute the onions and mushrooms until they're brown about five minutes. Then I stir in minced garlic, flour to thicken the sauce, red wine, thyme, salt and pepper. Then I whisk in broth and tomato paste. You're going to cover and cook this on low for about 10 minutes until it thickens up nicely. After that, add thawed peas and carrots and the chopped steak. And just let this incorporate for a little bit, but don't overcook it. You can taste it and adjust the seasoning as necessary. So I made this pot pie the day before and the next day it was so easy to heat up and the flavors melted really well. You can top this off with biscuits or with puff pastry or pie crust, whatever you like. I use those refrigerated biscuits uh, that my kids really like and we topped it off with that, put some butter on the biscuits, sprinkled some parsley on top. This was delicious. Every single person loved this meal and it has such a gourmet flavor and the filet mignons were excellent. I hope you enjoyed today's what's for dinner video and that it gave you some new ideas for your own kitchen. Thank you very much to ButcherBox for sponsoring it. Don't forget to click on my link below and you can get free ground beef for life. Thank you for joining me here on The Daily Connoisseur. Keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Thank you.